Hey everyone, my name is Kenny Coleman and I am a Senior Technical Marketing Manager at VMware. As a virtual infrastructure admin, you might be asking yourself, I understand how vSphere with Tanzu and Tanzu Kubernetes Grid can quickly create Tanzu Kubernetes clusters, and that's cool and all, but what's next? I need an easy application to deploy. Now the easiest target is the standard Nginx Kubernetes deployment, but that's very basic. Today we expect an App Store-like experience giving us the control to simply install and manage an application in a nice user interface. And that's what CubeApps is all about. CubeApps dubs itself as your application dashboard for Kubernetes. So through an intuitive UI, you can deploy up to 80 different types of applications that are based on Helm charts or operators, and also secure them using role-based access control. All of the complicated nuances of deployment and management are abstracted through single clicks. So if this is your first time using Kubernetes, this is a great way to see what's possible. Let's take a look at deploying cube apps using vSphere with Tanzu. Before getting started, we need to make sure that our cluster is ready to go with a predefined storage class. By default, a Tanzu Kubernetes cluster doesn't have a default storage class. So using vSphere with Tanzu, it's a simple addition by adding it under the settings parameter in the manifest file. Let's apply the manifest to the supervisor cluster and let the cluster deployment begin. After a few minutes, the virtual machines are created and the supervisor cluster shows the cluster that it's running. After authenticating to the new cluster, we can get a deeper look to put a watch on the nodes themselves. Within just a few more minutes, the nodes have been configured to become members of the cluster. A Tanzu Kubernetes cluster has pod security policies enabled by default, which means that you can't deploy any pods. So a cluster role binding needs to be applied that allows the current user to create pods. We can mitigate this with a simple workaround by applying this role binding that will allow us to continue with the deployment. CubeApps is deployed using Helm. And so if you haven't done it yet, make sure that you have the Helm client installed on your machine. Next, we will need to add the Bitnami repo, which is where the CubeApps Helm chart resides. If you belong to a large organization where many container images are being pulled from Docker Hub, you may be running into an issue with Docker Hub pull rate limiting. If you've exceeded the rate limit of 100 container image requests every six hours for anonymous usage, you're gonna be met with an image pullback error. To help mitigate this, we're gonna use your Docker Hub credentials to create a Kubernetes secret that gives you 200 pulls every six hours. And so what you need to do is actually replace the variables in this command with your own credentials. After the secret has been created, we need to patch the default service account so it can use those credentials to install CubeApps. To keep things clean, we will install CubeApps into its own namespace. The other trick to this is that we also have to give CubeApps access to your Docker Hub credentials so it can start pulling down images and deploying applications on its own. All we need to do is create another Kubernetes secret using the same Docker Hub credentials in the CubeApps namespace. To keep things simple, I even kept the same secret name. Now let's install CubeApps using Helm. For Tanzu Kubernetes clusters, we're going to need two new flags. First is the service type of load balancer. This is going to be used to automatically get an IP address from our HA proxy virtual appliance that we can access cube apps externally from the cluster. The second is setting the image pull secrets, which is utilizing the Kubernetes secret that we had just applied to the cube apps namespace. After a few minutes, the images will be up and you can get your IP address from the Kubernetes services to access cube apps. Let's navigate to that IP address. And now that you can see that we need a token to access the page. A recommended practice is to follow the CubeApps documentation on securing access control. But as a way to quickly get started, let's create a service account and a cluster role binding that will open up complete access for us. We can get the secret token for the service account, copy and paste it into our CubeApps page login, and now we can browse the catalog to see all of the applications available. So to put this to the test, let's check out WordPress. In the top right corner, click on Deploy which will then take you to a simple form. We can edit the application name, the username, password, and the email combination, and then scroll to the bottom and click on deploy. After a few minutes, the pod should be up and another IP address from our HA proxy load balancer has been used. Navigate to the IP address and we can see that WordPress is now up and running. So if you're just getting started using vSphere Tanzu or Kubernetes, give CubeApps a shot to see how you can get your first applications deployed. Make sure you follow the documentation and the latest instructions on CubeApps as well as vSero Tanzu.